Five simple steps to build a personal brand that stands out. Hey, what's up, guys? You ever look at someone and think, well, today I'm going to show you how can build a personal brand that not only stands out, but sets you apart in any industry. And trust me, you don't need to be some marketing genius or have a million followers to do it. Look, we're living in a time where everyone's trying to be an influencer. Everyone's trying to cut through the noise. But the real ones, the ones who win long term, they get it. They understand that personal branding isn't about faking it till you make it. It's about being real, being you, and putting in the work. So let's dive into five simple steps to get you started on building a memorable brand that'll have people talking about you and, more importantly, connecting with you on a deeper level. All right, let's cut to the chase. Most people in any industry, they're all doing the same thing, following the same playbook. They're trying to fit in, be like everyone else. But here's the secret. The fastest way to stand out is to be authentic, to be you times a thousand. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Tap into what makes unique. It could be anything, your way of talking, your sense of humor, your unique perspective. Own it. Authenticity attracts people. It's what builds real connections in a world that's becoming increasingly artificial. People can smell BS a mile away, right? So stop trying to be someone you're not. Embrace your quirks, your flaws, your uniqueness. Think about the people you, you follow, the brands you love. They're real, they're relatable, and they're not afraid to put themselves out there. So step one, be authentic, be you. The world needs more of that. Let's be real, putting yourself out there, being vulnerable. It can feel scary as hell. It's easy to get stuck in your head, worrying about what people will think. But here's the truth. Everyone feels that way at first. Everyone's got their own insecurities, their own doubts. The difference is the people who succeed, they don't let those fears paralyze them. They take action anyway. Confidence doesn't come before action. It comes you start. It's built through the process through the reps, through the failures and the wins. Think about it like learning to ride a bike. You didn't just hop on and start cruising, right? You fell, you scraped your knees, you got back up and tried again. And eventually you figure it, it dish out. You gain confidence through the act of doing. The same goes for building your personal brand. You're going to make mistakes, you're going to stumble, and that's okay. So step two is action. Just start. You'll be amazed at how much you grow simply by taking that first step. Now let's talk about risks. Because if you want to play it safe, if you want to stay comfortable, you're not going to achieve anything extraordinary. Look, I'm not saying you have to bet the farm on every decision. But you've got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable you got to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone to try new things, to experiment. Smart, calculated risks, that's where the magic happens. Whether it's investing in yourself, learning a new skill, taking on a new project, or trying something different in your business, stepping outside of your comfort zone is where real progress is made. Think about it. Every successful person you know, every entrepreneur, every artist, every athlete, they all took risks. They bet on themselves when no one else would. They put themselves out there, even when they were afraid. And yes, sometimes they failed, but they learned from those failures. So step three is to embrace risk because the biggest failure of all is not trying at all. Now, let's talk about presentation and no, I'm not talking about putting on a facade or pretending to be someone you're not. I'm talking about authenticity in action. Remember how we talked about being yourself, embracing your uniqueness. Well, that applies to how you present yourself to the world too. People connect with realness, not perfection. So whether it's your fashion style, the way you speak, the way you carry yourself, make sure it aligns with who you are on the inside. Don't worry about fitting in, about following the latest trends. Focus on what makes you feel confident, comfortable, and authentically you. When you meet someone for the first time, what do you notice? Their energy, their vibe, 
their overall presence, right? That's what people pick up on. So step four is to present yourself authentically. Let your personality shine through in everything you do. All right, we're at the final step, and this one's crucial. Preparation and adaptability. You can have all the talent in the world, all the charisma, all the authenticity. But if you're not prepared to put in the work and adapt to the ever-changing landscape, you're not going to make it. Success is a combination of preparation and adaptability. You don't have to be perfect the first time, but you do need to put in the work. You need to be prepared to iterate, to adjust, to pivot when necessary. Think about it like this. Preparation is like building a solid foundation for a house. It's about doing your research, honing your skills, and creating a strong base for your brand. But adaptability is like having the flexibility to adjust the blueprints, to make changes along the way as needed. So step five is to be prepared and adaptable. Put in the work, do your research, and be ready to adjust your sales when the wind changes direction. All right, guys, now that you've got these five steps to start building your personal brand, it's time to take action. Remember, building a brand is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about consistency, dedication, and a genuine desire to connect with your audience. If you're ready to level up your marketing game and take things to the next level, I've got something for you. Download my free ebook, The Ultimate Guide to AI and Digital Marketing at the ultimate guide to AI and digital marketing.com by following these five steps and putting them into action, you're going to start seeing real changes in how people view you and your brand. Don't wait, take the first step today, be you, take those risks and watch your influence grow.